what's up guys so today let's talk about a bunch of different belts that I use uh, for the range or outer belts that I consider outer belts range belts war belts whatever you want to call them but uh, but they're very simply just belts that I put over my carry belt and uh, and rock on now the way I usually use my belts I don't use keepers I don't use those big padded ones anymore the big molly ones um, I used to have a couple and I got rid of those a long time ago uh, when when the newer style of inner outer belt with velcro came out so what I mean by that is the inner belts nowadays are kind of they're rigid so I could still use them some of them are rigid so that I could still use them as uh, everyday carry belts but I also have rigidity for the the stuff I need so it has vertical rigidity so up and down is pretty rigid but the side to side or horizontal rigidity is loose or looser. So it gives me a little bit of like movement and it's not so stiff. It's not like holding a hula hoop through my belt loops. So this is the, the belt that I would put through my belt loops inside my, on my belt, I'm sorry, on my pants. And what it does is you can see all the loop that's across all this. This is the, the I guess you could call it female side of the hook and loop. So it's a loop portion of Velcro. And then on my outer belts, right, you can see there's the hook portion of Velcro or the male end. And that's what I attach it to. Now, um, outer belts have, have progressed from being like uh, the LBEs, right, back in the day. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's the good old load bearing equipment, which is like the Vietnam era green shenanigans. Um, we used them basic. I don't know if you guys did, if you did, cool, if you didn't, whatever. Um, but that progressed to just using a belt system and a chest rig system separate. And then from there, it ended up progressing to now we use a belt system that has Velcro on it versus a, you know, outer belt system that needs uh, pads or needs some kind of grippy surface to hold on to you. Now, not to say that those are wrong, they just, uh, for me, they always slid up on my body whenever I got into weird positions and uh, frustrated the shit out of me. Now, with my outer belt system, um, my systems that I use or the, the actual belts that I use are all specific to the tasks at hand. So for example, this one right here, you guys probably seen it a few times um, in pictures or videos, but this is my range belt, right? My general range belt. It's actually the one I kind of go to for everything almost. Um, unless I'm getting onto uh, very specific tasks. So this is my range belt. This is the one that I use for the majority of stuff. Um, and I'll do a specific video on the setup uh, for 2021 because I haven't done one yet. Um, and people ask me too much about the setup, but we'll get there. So um, pretty simple. It's got my holster, my gun, my, my actual multi-tool goes around. It has uh, a little, uh, multitasker nano and also the hollow sun tool for students that have those those different optics that I need to adjust and help with pistol pouches rifle pouches gloves I also have my dump pouch on here and then my uh, my med kit so nothing too fancy just things that I need for the range or general purpose kind of use with a belt or outer belt now more getting more towards the specific side of things is the use of uh, a belt that needs or has load bearing capability. So when, uh, when I get on a helicopter or need to clip into something, uh, I'm gonna grab something that has a uh, load rating or certified with a load rating. Um, Blue Force Gear makes a belt called the Chalk Belt. This one was actually developed by a couple Rangers and designed and tested by Rangers in, in first bat, which was cool and one of my buddies out there, Chris Size Love. And, uh, and right there, like, that gives me the warm and fuzzy because <laughs> I know my Rangers aren't gonna, you know, buddy fuck each other. So what, what I get is uh, a belt system that was created for specifically doing the things I used to do and for things that I teach people to do. So in, in certain classes. So that, that kind of stuff is important to me and, and keeping it slim is important because I'm gonna be on a helicopter, I don't want things snagging and stuff. So I keep my belt set up for when I'm on a bird real, real slim. Everything else is on my body armor um, or kit or backpack. So holster, tourniquet, simple. I have my, my clip-in point for my, uh, my lanyard. 
uh, for myself. And then I also have my Blue Alpha Gear uh, Marco set, which I put on pretty much every belt that I need it for. Uh, pistol and rifle pouch, nothing crazy. And then the store pull handle or the, the place I put my lanyard if I'm just storing it on my belt. Usually I just dingle dangle both of them in the front. So just something to think about there if you're going to use something. These load bearing belts, the nylon that goes through there, the tubular nylon, is all the way through the buckle, all the way through both of these handles, and, uh, and helps you out in the case that you slip off the sled or the edges of those birds. So just something to think about if you're doing that kind of stuff, getting something that's certified load rated. Um, now most guys can get away with it because you're not going to dingle dangle off stuff very often. Uh, but for me personally, like if I'm going to jump on a helicopter again, I'm going to do it the right way and, and not try to hurt myself. So this is something that I, I use. Now, getting even more specific, when I do PRS or, or precision rifle stuff, um, specifically when I'm doing a course that's only to that, or if I'm going out to doing like a, uh, let's say like a competition of some sort, I'll wear a belt that's set up specifically for that. So here's my blue alpha gear belt that, uh, that is now being used for this specifically. And it helps me in a couple different ways, right? Now this belt is set up no holster cause I'm not doing anything with pistols. So I'm not going to waste the space slash the weight on my, on my hip if I don't have to. Um, another option is just to put a good old QLS and you can pop it off, pop it on. So if you're using one belt and you want to use it for multiple things, that's something to think about. Um, on my right side, I usually keep my rangefinder. Super easy to find. It's just, oh, okay, cool. And I can zip back up. Um, so it's nice and easy on that right side. Um, going around, I have a D-ring or a beaner just for my uh, little game changer to hook on. Nothing crazy, just a way of cool holding it on there. I've seen a couple different better ways, which I'll play around with in the future, but currently that's how I use it. Going further, I have two mag pouches staggered, right? So one's higher, one's lower. Um, specifically for when I'm in the prone, I can reach this one a little easier than this one where I have to move my body. But when I'm in a seated, kneeling, or, or upward position, or standing position, I can reach this one a lot easier. So just something different that I realized uh, over the course of time. I do have a dump pouch that I can, I can you know, pick up things, carry my water, stuff like that when I'm in those things. Another snap link, but that one's because I didn't want to pull it off the belt. So it just sits there, but that's the one that I used to use for my gloves. So if I need to hook something to it, whatever it is, another bag, something like that, at least I have another spot to hook things. And then I use one of my nerds um, for uh, tourniquet retention. So still, I try to keep a tourniquet on me, especially because I don't have my holster that usually has a tourniquet on there. So just another option uh, for you if you're looking, or another option that I have uh, setup-wise for when I'm doing specific things. And then lastly, guys, another outer belt setup. And uh, actually, let me grab my blaster and show you guys how this looks together. So. Now to show you guys like the last outer belt setup. So this is the good old clutch belt. Now the clutch belt from Unity Tactical, um, and I believe they're making some other, or they're doing some other stuff with like uh, the good old peeps from Vertex and stuff. But this is a pretty damn clutch belt and works really well when I'm trying to uh, hide it under a jacket, bigger shirts, things like that. And I can kind of just, you know, decide what I want to put in here as needed. Um, each of these little pockets, well, most of them have Velcro in them, so you can you could add stuff to it. You can you can remove stuff. You could add radios, med, whatever. But um, I just threw a bunch of shit in there so that I could show you guys the, the amount of pockets it has, and then also like what I'll use it for. Most of the time, I leave a holster in here, so I use a, a Armadillo Lux, and I just keep it in there because it's it's Velcro. It doesn't have a clip anyways. So I keep it in there so that I can just pull in and out uh, holster wise. Um, knife wise, I'll play around with a bunch of different knives most of the time. And uh, mostly I set up my knives so I can pull them left handed. But I like some of these punch daggers like this one from like uh, um, from Shivworks because this punch dagger, I can pull any direction and I have a punch dagger. So whether I pu pull it 
left-handed from the other side. I have good old punch dagger. If I pull it right-handed, I have a punch dagger with a reverse blade. Like, cool, no big deal. So whichever way I, I snag it, I'm, I'm good to go when it, when it comes to pulling that bad boy. So I like those styles for this kind of setup um, or belt setups in general. Going down, you can see like I have my two mag pouches for my handgun, rifle pouch. Notice how that's like a theme, two handgun, one rifle. Because I usually wear a kit or if I need to, I have more, more, uh, more stuff in different places. And then tourniquet. Once again, tourniquet doesn't play around, or I don't play around when it comes to med. I have that on all my stuff um, most, if not all the time. So hopefully that makes sense. Just another setup that you guys can see. Um, what I like about these is that I can literally roll it up, throw it in a backpack, and then set it up when I get there. Or when I have it underneath a jacket, you can barely tell that I'm carrying this much shit. Uh, where the outer belt setups that are on my hips, they protrude too far out. Where this one sits more higher on my like on my love handles, if you want to call it that. And it goes around almost the belly band because it's not as high as my belly, but it's just above my waist. Where it, it hides underneath my arms and, and, uh, and my chest and stuff. So it's actually a really nice setup for those of you that are doing more low vis stuff. So those are just my outer belt setups, guys. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, like I said, these are just the ones I use personally. Not to say that everybody needs this many setups, but because I have so many belts, I can set things up separately and or specifically for different things. Um, the one belt setup that I don't think I have yet is something for like um, mountaineering or something like that. And that's specifically because I don't usually use a belt setup for that. Um, if I'm going out in the sticks hunting, I use a chest rig and, uh, and I prefer it that way because then I can put a pack over it, chest rig over it, and then I'm, I'm like good to go and I don't have anything on my waist to rub pretty bad. So, um, that's the only time that I don't really wear a belt per se, uh, when it comes to, uh, doing stuff outdoors. So hope that makes sense guys. And, uh, if you have any questions, just put them below and, uh, look forward to more in-depth videos on some of these especially my range belt, which is the one I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on. And, uh, and be sure to kind of keep an eye out. There's some products coming out that uh, I hope will, uh, will really intrigue some people and will be belt specific at some point too. So take care guys. Be safe.